nails and slitting their throats. Yeah, what did you do to slit our throat? It's not. Because of the nature of this crime, we made no plea bargain offers, and he made that selection today to plead to the entire indictment. In court, Redden's attorney says they had planned for a psychiatric defense to help bolster the initial not guilty pleas entered, but There's the doctor said to evaluate Redden couldn't meet him due to last week's weather. It's not clear if that factored into the change of plea. It's also not clear what motivated Redden to kill. He messed up, he knew it was wrong, and he deserved what comes to him. Outside court, a woman who said she's a friend of Redden said he told her he was high when he committed the murders, but knows the horror of what he did that day last August. Even though he wasn't aware as it was happening, he's taking responsibility for what he did. JT Fetch, CBS 6 News. Yeah, my opinion, he's a sociopath. I mean, drugs are a pretty serious thing. They make you, you lose your soul. And drugs are also the devil's workshop. You know, he's using them to take over the whole world. It's ruining people's lives. This kid, you know, obviously lost his mind trying to figure him out. You know, he doesn't look like he's too sorry, but he obviously pled guilty. He knows what he did was wrong. Killing your parents, kids, whatever, sin to throw. I don't know what's up with this kid. You know, it's absolute insanity. But that just goes to show you what drugs can do, you know. Don't smoke crack. It's whack. And, uh, you know... Pray for me, I guess pray for this kid and pray for the people that, you know, that aren't with us anymore. But um, the moral of the story, drugs are bad. Don't do them. Bad things happen. Peace. Rick Sweet, keep on keeping on 69 at Gmail. Replace the E's with threes. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and I have the Instagram soon. Also on Facebook. Holla!